Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the world. My name is Josh, and it's my pleasure to introduce to you a summary of Breakthrough Energy Technology. Now, this document was put together for the President of the United States and members of Congress, which is pretty cool and has a lot of great information, but it's also kind of boring. So, I'm going to build a fire, hang out, give you the cliff notes, as well as any additional information you'll need to get a, a holistic perspective on the new energy industry and where it is that we're going. And if you're lucky, there may be juggling. So get comfortable, relax, take a load off, and be prepared to be surprised. Step one, I'm gonna build a fire, come on over. The reason why I'm building a fire is because it's like zero It's freezing. Mama, please. Um, thinking about making this video for quite some time now, I believe it to be a very important topic. We're in an energy crisis. The notion of breakthrough energy technology is pretty an exciting and relevant topic to talk about. And if, at the very least, you can hang out with me as we uh, sit, sit by this fire, that would be good. It's funny, I'm going to be talking a lot about new energy technologies, and uh, our current form of energy technology is based around combustion technology. This is combustion technology. We can harness this energy, we can turn it into electricity, we can turn it into mechanical energy. Combustion technology is pretty awesome, but it's not nearly as awesome as MAGRAF technology, using magnetic and gravitational fields as means of lift and drive. This document is based on nearly 17 years of research by Dr. Stephen Greer, Dr. Loader, and other members of the Advanced Energy Research Organization, ARO. We have identified a number of advanced technologies to replace the need for oil, gas, coal, nuclear power that over the past 75 years, a number of significant breakthroughs in energy generation and propulsion have occurred that have been systematically suppressed. All right, so let's talk about a couple categories of this suppression. Acquisition of technologies by a front company whose intent is to shelve these inventions and prevent the devices from coming to the market. For example, a large oil company having interest in energy would, would buy a, the rights or patents to an invention specifically to shelf it because they have so much invested in, in the oil and coal industry. Seizure or suppression of the technologies by the illegal application of Section 181 that result in the technology being classified of significance to national security. In other words, there's currently documented over 5,000 patents that have been censored because they have been deemed of significance to national security. Other means of suppressing this technology, targeting inventors or companies with financial scams, illegal financial arrangements that lead to the demise of the company discrediting of the inventor's name, as well as the invention itself. This is one of the silliest. Scientific establishments pre-justice and rejection outright. Any scientist that comes to me with this talks about free energy devices, he's a, he's a complete buffoon. I like my material view of the universe where we have to burn things to get energy. So that's how this technology gets suppressed. And it stops now. Example lists of technologies. Now this is the real essence of this video. If you watch this whole video and you only remember one thing, remember the essence. Different forms of new energy technology that are emergent within the new energy industry. That's the wholeness of this video. Solid state electromagnetic free energy generators. What it does is it extracts electromagnetic energy out of the quantum vacuum field out of zero point energy, out of the unified field, emotionless electromagnetic generator. No moving parts other than magnetic fields. The motionless electromagnetic generator was invented by Tom Bearden. He's also one of the uh, top dogs in this documentary film, 40 documentaries. Uh, this is just the first 20. Moving up. Rotary electromagnetic free energy generator. Now, the Sumo Effect Generator is one of the coolest magnetic motors this side of the galaxy. Now, the important thing to understand with this generator, the scientific breakthrough is that we figured out how to program magnetic wave functions into magnetic material. When combined with the magnetic wave function of the roller itself, 
the two magnetic wave functions, it creates a, a self-perpetuating uh, magnetic machine. Moving on. This dude has been demonstrating this invention. He spent like the past 40, 50 years developing this magnetic motor. He winds it up, hits it with a hammer, and activates its uh, toroidal field capturing properties. Really impressive magnetic motor that's emerging within the new energy industry. Another individual that has made many different kinds of magnetic motors is John Bedini. John Bedini being a boss. This thing that you're seeing rotating that looks like a Ferris wheel is this 14 foot magnetic motor, free energy generator. And this video right here is him displaying it at a, a trade show. So that's John Bedini. He is also featured extensively in Energy from the Vacuum, which is a science series. More information than you could possibly care to know about extracting energy from the vacuum. Uh, John Bedini, he's doing a great job. So one of the generators that's not even on this list is the Cache Plasma Generator. This is Miron Cache, inventor of the Cache Plasma Generator. He's the founder of the Cache Foundation, and he has just launched the Spaceship Institute. Uh, which is a, a, an educational institution intent on teaching this knowledge to the world. It's pretty exciting. Now, magnetic motors and plasma generators aside, there's other forms of breakthrough energy technology. Justin Hall Tipping in this TED Talk uh, talks about nanotechnology. The power plant of tomorrow is no power plant. Another form of breakthrough energy technology that's emerging within the new energy industry. All right, let's take a break from this. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Josh, full name Joshua Thomas Vodasek. The reason why I go by Joshua Thomas is because my name is Thomas, not because I have a big crush on Samantha Thomas. I'm a veteran of the United States Marine Corps, a graduate of Sustainable Living. I'm a writer, director, and founder of the New Energy Industry. If you would like to be a writer, contact me. If you would like to be a founder, go to the newenergyindustry.com. I'm also an artist. I sculpted this out of wood, and then I used this to sculpt this. When I took Dale DeVoki's sculpture class, uh, he said, if you can sculpt your likeness, you can sculpt anything. And I was like, challenge accepted. So I sculpted this guy. I've also sculpted this. This is my Gandalf staff. It actually has a two and a half inch grade A quartz crystal inside of it. But when I casted it in the resin, it disappeared and is now invisible. Invisible. And its purpose is to help resolve the global energy crisis made these nunchucks, crystal nunchucks, for tapping into my creative flow and echoing it throughout the universe. This is a medallion that I've been working on. I hope it's cool. I hope you don't think I'm a dork. Enough about that, let's get back to the summary of breakthrough energy technology. Appendix B, precursor engineering, review of issue. If you want to be a part of the breakthrough cutting edge of the academic aspect of the energy revolution, you're going to want to check out precursor engineering physics. Appendix B. Section 412, other potential energy producing technologies, and then they have a list of 10 other. The fact that we're still using coal to power our homes is, is embarrassing, quite frankly. Our energy infrastructure is Jurassic. We have the know-how. Even if 50% of this stuff in this document and what I'm saying right now is complete hogwash, we still have the means of resolving the global energy crisis in this generation while ushering in a new era of galactic space exploration. Do, do you see what I'm saying? And do you see what I'm saying? Because it's there to be seen. It's just a matter of educating yourself on the possibilities. And that's what the new energy, this is the new energy industry. It's a means to highlight all of the organizations and individuals and movements and everything that's happening within the new energy industry. The purpose of this website is to be the focal point for that dialogue. If you would like to be a writer, contact me. If you would like to be a founder, go to the new energy industry. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video as much as I have enjoyed making this video. 
you like this video, share it with your friends, family, and then the very most lastest thing of all, which is actually the first thing that ever was, love is the only way. All right, just a little bit of juggling. The act of moving onward means we, we pass these signposts. One of them was first leaving Earth. The next one is hanging out on the moon. What's next? The planets. Onward to the edge. We're moving onward to the edge. Here we are together. This fragile world. This fragile